When we went on the catwalk, that was our time to be really alone with nature. And it was so intimate. I just stop and listen in the forest and how it was just so alive around you. In fact, I think it kind of ignited my love for, for kind of getting lost in the forest. I remember just stopping often and just feeling how fortunate we were to be in such an old forest. It's secondary forest, but it's really good quality forest as well. A lot of good species, you know, the Maranti family, the Diptrocarps, and huge, huge trees. The first time I had river crossing, we had to take off our shoes. The currents are quite strong, so you have to be careful. So sometimes we create a human chain. When you're there, it, it feels like you're in a another dimension when you go into the upper, yeah. For the catwalk, we actually go and patrol through the periphery of Taman Negara. It's a, it's a tiger monitoring walk where you patrol or monitor tigers, you remove snares. So that got me really excited. I got to go to a talk by Dr. Kai about the tigers in Malaysia and it was amazing to me that they were still there and so intrigued by the work she was doing. I got to go on a catwalk. <laughs> the fact that there are just so few Malaysian tigers now, and it's like, thank God someone is doing something about that to, to, to help with conservation efforts. So I said, yeah, it's great. I mean, the, the money goes to support them. And we actually go out and volunteer and um, you know offer our time. Um, and our muscles and our eyes and ears to, to help out with this. So I thought, yeah, this sounds great. As we went along the hike, it was very encouraging because then slowly we sort of learned to identify these things ourselves. We saw sun bear claw marks all the way up the trees. That was very interesting because from that we learned about like sun bear behaviour and things like that. Bear is trying to rip the tree open to get to the honey. So it's so ripped apart, the bear's been biting and Glory. You see elephant tracks, you see sun bear claw marks, and that was really exciting. I really love that we stopped at the camera traps. The cat walkers had put out camera traps, and we could stop and collect the film and look at the footage. And to know that I was walking on the same trail that elephants had been on, and um, sun bears, porcupines, civet cats. Was, was so great. I loved it. There's so many nice things about the whole trip. My God, the, the walking on the trails and collecting the storage cards from those cameras and then looking at them at night and it's like, wow. Oh my God, what was that? And then you see this just, this animal just walking across and it's a huge thing. It's like, I think there were tapirs. We were, you know, it's a long day and we were tired already. It's like, oh, don't we have to watch this? But when, once it starts, coming up on the screen and we all get squeals of excitement and yeah, I get very excited just to see these animals. So yeah, that was, that was a thrill. I feel that I contributed by planting a, a tree or two saplings to revegetate and restoring the landscape. We plant some trees for us to take to plant today. We're going to plant about uh, 20 trees today. And to allow biodiversity to, to cross through the corridors, that's very fulfilling. That's really, that's one of the best uh, takeaways that I have. Obviously, we don't want to damage the roots. The, see the colour of the soil? It's really dark, and the darkness means that it's rich in organic matter. And it was so nice that the local people are involved, because they are the ones who actually know what's happening in the forest, right? They use the forest all the time. And they are the ones who also know where the trees are. Oh, that one's got seeds and fruit, so they will know to collect when they know. So it's all locally sourced plants and seeds which they are planting in the nursery, which we then take and plant out to reforest part of the degraded forest areas. Yeah. Acts like a sponge. 
works for that. Um, it will hold water and then if it were to be dry, which is unlikely in this month, then it will slowly release the water. It will hold it from the bottom. Yep. There we go. So this is a Promethea? Yeah, Promethea. So, so actually, the water runs off here a lot down from the logging road. So these can tolerate water log conditions. Then we learned so much about how the Sungai Yu Corridor connects the main range and the Taman Nagara, which are the two main habitat areas, and it's a vital, vital link. This is the actual spot, and that's how they raise the, the highway above so that the animals could walk through, and all these things that they're doing. So we learned a lot, and, uh, and the intricacies of working with government, with the local people, watching out for poachers and things like that, the dangers of poachers. The idea that, that individuals are there keep, keeping a, an eye over everything, I think is really, really important. I just want to be out there and just exploring and interacting with nature. Anything I can share with students, they really take to heart. And that feeling of gratefulness and appreciation is just so important in a young person. I think that people are naturally curious about nature and if given the chance they would want to, to hear about it. So the catwalks were really uh, like a foot in the door in a way to really open up to all kinds of different uh, conservation efforts and just, just the littlest things that we can do because if you can bring the love of nature into somebody, they're, they're going to do what they can for the environment, for, for the world we live in. So this catwalk, I think, has a really important role. You cannot talk about conservation without talking about environmental education. The two must go together hand in hand. Well, environmental education is a huge part of conservation. Ignite their imagination. We can actually save the Malaysian tiger. This really helps. Every little bit helps. What would you say to interested cat Sign up straight away. <laughs> Do not delay. I am deeply passionate about the environment, sustainability. And so uh, when I got a chance to be involved in the catwalks, it was definitely uh, an opportunity that I was not going to pass up. Yeah. I can't believe I got to be a part of it, that I, I got to help the tigers and I know people that care that are out there make a difference. Oh my gosh, uh, I would sign up in a heartbeat again. By all means, if you have the chance, please do go. I promise you it's a trip that you will never forget and I can guarantee you will appreciate what nature has to offer. So it felt wonderful to be part of that effort, to, to contribute to such an iconic animal as the Malaysian tiger. Wow. Yeah, it was an honor. It was an honor to, to be there.